Greetings and welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today on this week before Thanksgiving, we're going to take things a little bit slower. I'm going to do a video today and I might do another one tomorrow as well. Wednesday and Thursday this week will be off and we will be back for the weekly news roundup on Friday. But today I want to talk briefly about Firefox updates. There is a new update out uh, this week, Firefox 83, and I want to talk about a few things that they did in this really good. Um, we, of course, beat on Firefox every chance we get for the craziness they oftentimes do, but there are excellent things that they also do. I still believe that of all of the major browsers, Firefox is still one of the best while they keep on doing some really stupid and annoying things, the other thing, though, they keep on also doing is they also keep on doing things like allowing you to customize most aspects of the browser. There's also policy where you can turn things off and keep things off on an administrative type level. Uh, we'll probably do a video about that sometime soon here uh, as more uh, full feature policy uh, features roll out. There are still some uh, limitations on them. But let's go ahead and have a brief look at some of the updates that we're seeing right now in 83. Summarized by OMG Ubuntu here. Uh, they have a couple of things. The biggest issue that's the best is HTTPS only mode. So in the past, you had to install the HTTPS Everywhere plugin to do this. Of course, I did that on my Firefox hardening video, and it is a good plugin to use, but I still I don't like utilizing plugins. As a long-term WordPress developer, I know that when you start adding plugins to a WordPress site, that is actually what makes the vulnerabilities uh, show up in the system. And I think the same thing is demonstrable in any web browser. So the fewer plugins you have to have installed, the better off you're going to be. So with this change, they've added HTTPS only mode. It basically does the similar thing. Now, the plugin is still has an advantage that you can set certain websites to be on or off. But what this is going to do is it's going to enable you to set an HTTPS everywhere mode. The advantage that this gives you is sometimes, particularly when people don't have the, a very good web developer, they'll have an, an SSL installed, but they don't actually have their site optimized to feed everything through it. Now, it might be something as simple as turning off the force HTTPS on the web server mode. It might be some misconfiguration or pulling in some file in HTTP mode on a different domain. Those are all things that are going to cause this to happen. What this feature in Firefox is going to do is it's going to force everything to go over an HTTPS connection so long as such a connection exists, and it's going to give you a specific warning if it does not. We also have PDF form filling and some things dealing with picture and picture, which honestly, I hate picture and picture, so I won't talk a whole lot about that other than just mentioning what they say in the article. Uh, I will note that they don't give us very clear instructions on how to enable HTTPS everywhere, so we will go into uh, an actual Manjaro build and have a look at what that looks like. Uh, but you can uh, enable it. It is still set default to off, I believe. You have to manually enable it. But as long as you have Firefox 83, then you have the capabilities of doing that. So I'd probably recommend going ahead and doing it. They do have their picture-in-picture uh, -picture features. And uh, they have added the picture-in-picture -picture features into all the different versions of the web browser now. And I guess maybe they changed something. Again, I don't really use that. The other thing is they started, uh, Firefox is looking for more ways to increase the revenue. They do have this pocket, which it does not send data out. So uh, after looking into it uh, in a lot more detail, it's not sending any data out. It's keeping everything localized in your computer, but it will give you recommendations based on what I think you might like to see. But what they also started to do is, hey, we're going to pay you money, Firefox, to throw our article in the recommended posts based on what you might like. And so those are the sponsored posts. We now have the option to turn off the sponsored posts inside of Pocket. I always just disable Pocket altogether. I don't want any of it. <laughs> but nevertheless, uh, you can do that. Uh, Windows and Mac users can now pinch to Zoom uh, with a supported touchscreen, touchpad, or trackpad. It uh, Linux has always had a feature similar to it, but it hasn't been as well supported. And any type of active PDFs you can now fill out directly inside. This is good and good timing because 
Uh, Adobe products like Adobe Flash is pretty much dying, but Adobe PDF is still good. It is still strong, but it still does require that extra application on your computer. Now here on Linux, there we do have tools to do this without utilizing Adobe products at all. But this makes that that if you happen to have a PDF that is active field PDF, you now can fill out those directly on Firefox and then manipulate them from there. So let's go ahead and have a look at a Manjaro build, and uh, we will just have a, a quick look at what these guys look like in pure context. So over here I have Manjaro. I push all of the updates, and if we go into our help and about, we'll see that we are on Firefox 83. Now, one of the things that I do not like about the newer Firefoxes is they are really pushing that DNS over HTTPS really fast. And I still stand by DNS over HTTPS is not necessarily a good thing. And it's questionable if they're even paying attention to any canary domains, although I have to set that up. Now, an updated version of PFSense, which I use for my router, does actually include that canary domain, although I haven't upgraded to that on my network as of yet. We're going to come down into our preferences here, and inside of your preferences, you want to go down to privacy and security. Scrolling down to the bottom, this is where the um, OMG Ubuntu article was incorrect, actually. Uh, but scrolling down to the uh, about preferences, go down to privacy and security. At the very bottom, we have the HTTPS only mode. You can learn more about it by clicking over here. You can see the default is do not enable HTTPS only mode. You can enable it. Uh, in all windows, or you can enable the mode in private windows only. So if you do want to just make sure that the private windows are HTTPS only, you can do that. It's probably advisable just go ahead and do this and just turn it off on individual sites that might be giving us some challenges. So that's good. Of course, on the DNS over HTTPS, something that's not new, but what Firefox is forcing on much more rapidly, you want to come down here and just de-check this if it happens to be checked, unless you specifically want to use it. Of course, we do have um, Cloudflare, Next DNS, or Custom. I don't know. Let me know, guys, if you'd be interested in how to create your own custom DNS. I believe you can do that in Pi-hole. I know for sure you could do it with some other network utilities on a local basis that you can enable DNS over HTTPS, but use your own systems. Uh, with those Next uh, Cloudflare, Next DS, I believe if you use Custom, you can do things. I, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe Quad9 does support it, but I'm not, uh, I don't remember for sure. So let's go ahead and keep that one turned off. As far as the PDFs, uh, that is something that is uh, built directly into it. So if we were to go to a form with that, um, I'm not going to try and find one. I know tax forms can. Uh, under home, I believe it's under home. This is where we, is it under home? Yes, there we are. So recommended by pocket. You can turn off the sponsored stories or you can turn pocket off directly right there. So that is something that is good as well. You can turn on or turn off top sites. You can turn on or turn off web, uh, web search. So there's all these. And then here's updates from Mozilla and Firefox. View other things there as well. So there you all have it. Firefox 83 does have some excellent, good, and useful features inside of it. So if you are using this and you want to upgrade that, I would probably recommend turning on HTTPS only mode and you know you can keep the old plugin around or if you're just like eh, I don't really like add-on so I never really added it even though I kind of understand it's there if you're using Firefox 83 that's one I would definitely probably turn on definitely probably hey there's a there's a new phrase right definitely probably guys I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux thank you for watching this video from switched to Linux this channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.